Okay, so Jen Cutter's with me here from OpenAlpha.tv. Thank you so much, Jen, for being here. My pleasure. And uh, you have a little PSP hack for us. I do. And that would be? That would be Windows 95 or 98 on the PSP. Windows, Windows 95 or 98 I on know, the PSP? I know. If you still have your CDs, you can totally do this. Nice. Okay, so uh, first of all, does this serve its purpose? I mean, having Windows? None, None no. whatsoever. This is one of those things you do because you, you can. can. Oh, yes, yes. The best the, kind of thing. The, the geek motto. Yes. By far. And uh, so now, since we're on a PSP, is this actually running like Windows 95? Ah, yeah. well, see, this is why we have Tux on set, because uh -huh. this is running emulated through Box Linux. So I'm okay. going to show you how to set up an image of Windows to move over to the PSP. Oh, sweet. Using Box Linux? Using Box Linux. So obviously, that would be in the list of list things we need. List of things you need. You need a PC. Okay. You also need to help. Yeah, a USB PSP cable, because you've got to get it across. And you need a Memory Stick Pro Duo, but it has to be more than 150 megs, because the minimum installation for Windows 95 is 150 megs. You'll need more space for Windows 98. And if you want any hope of using your PSP for other stuff, you need the bigger stick. I've got the one gig SanDisk stick. This isn't it. This is the value pack one in my PSP right now. And that, to me, is the best one. OK, so that's basic system that's requirements? That's basically it, except that your PSP also has to be a 1.5. If you got the 2.0, you can downgrade. Mm -hmm. But anything past that, and you're stuck. It has to be 1.5. You need the kernel access. OK. So now that we know what we have and what we're doing, mm -hmm. how do we do it? Well, we got to go into Windows, and all the downloads for all the files are in the show notes. Okay. Because there's a lot of stuff that you need. And I have to give mad props to Matt from hacker.co.il, because he was one of the first guys to get Windows running on the PSP, and Stingerwolf, who's actually going to be hosting most of the files nice. on, his, uh, on his account. Thank you. And also configuration files. So if you don't want to configure things yourself, you can get the pre-made files and get her done. Get her done. Get her done. Because it is nice. a very long install, so you might want to actually have like a book or a video game to play in the meanwhile. <laughs> well, working on your PSP, you might want to play your PS2. Yeah, basically. So the first thing you have to do to set up your image, and after you've downloaded all the files you need, you go mm -hmm. into the box folder and open BX image. So we want to make a hard drive. Enter. Now this is the part where we're going to make it 150 megs. Because minimum installation size. Now this is where you get stuff you got to start paying attention to. Mm -hmm. You see how it says 304, 16, and sectors per track is 63. Write that down. You will need it three to four more times Are you serious? during the installation. Oh, yes. For the because even though we have the pre-made installation files, mm -hmm. you don't have to do the bare minimum 150. If you wanted to make it, you know, a half gig installation, it would take forever. But you can do it. So you got to pay attention and write that stuff down. Oh, okay. Now I'm not going to remake it because I already have my stuff all already set up. All right. But one of the things that's going to happen in a couple of steps from here is it's going to say, like, one of the steps is to format C. It's very important. You're not wrecking your hard drive. You are going to be formatting your image. So you're going to be formatting your 150 meg image that you've created. Okay. Not your hard drive. It's okay. Go do it. Because <laughs> a lot of people stop at that step and go, like, oh, no, oh, I'm not no. going to format my hard drive. I don't want to set up a new computer to make this installation. No, it's not it's like just a that. virtual C drive. Yes, exactly. Gotcha. So if you follow the steps, it will. the installation does take a couple of hours because you're running it emulated on whatever kind of PC you have at home. Mm -hmm. Then you've got to move it all over to the PSP and then boot it on that. And that's going to take another 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the version of Windows you're running. 95 or 98, yeah. Yes. All and that's right. pretty much it. So if you follow all the steps, it's all very detailed in the show notes. Okay, so you're And nice. you'll be good to go and can impress your friends with the Windows that does not much. <laughs> <laughs> But I did it. Exactly. Like if you really want to play Minesweeper on your PSP, just get the Lua player. Because <laughs> it comes included on that. But it's not as cool as playing it in Windows. Exactly. It's not PSP. as cool. This is the ultimate because you can thing. Yeah, absolutely. Just and Windows <laughs> through Linux on the PSP, what more can you want? Exactly. So like we said, on the show notes, detailed step by step mm -hmm. and links to all the files that we'll need. Yep. Totally. So, thanks a lot and enjoy the rest.